Hey there, fellow time traveler. Remember the days when we all gathered around the TV, eagerly waiting for the next episode of the 1989 classic, Saved by the Bell. Ah, those were the times, weren't they? If you ever found yourself glued to the screen, captivated by Zach Morris schemes, Lisa Turtle's impeccable fashion sense, or Screech's endearing goofiness, then you're in the right place. Let's take a walk down memory lane, shall we? I want to hear about your favorite moments, the characters who stole your heart, and the unforgettable experiences you had while watching this iconic series. Did you ever try to mimic Zack's timeout move or secretly wish you could hang out at the max with the gang? Whether it was the hilarious mishaps, the heartwarming friendships, or the life lessons sprinkled throughout each episode, Saved by the Bell has left an indelible mark on all of us. So, let's chat about it. Share your cherished memories and let's relive those fantastic moments together. Now, speaking of this beloved show, did you know that there are some intriguing random facts about Saved by the Bell that might surprise you? Stay tuned because we're about to uncover them right here, right now. Saved by the Bell, a beloved 1989 TV series, emerged as a cultural touchstone in American television. Originating from the earlier series Good Morning, Miss Bliss, it followed a group of high school friends at Bayside High in California, led by charismatic Zach Morris. The show's iconic characters included the charming but mischievous Zach his best friend Screech, the fashionable cheerleader Kelly, the studious Jesse, the comedic AC, Slater, and the ditzy Lisa. What set Saved by the Bell apart was its unique blend of light-hearted humor, teen drama, and life lessons, often breaking the fourth wall to address the audience. The show tackled relatable teenage issues while maintaining a sense of escapism, and it became a cultural phenomenon, with its memorable catchphrases like Time Out. In Zack's giant cell phone, it left an indelible mark on popular culture. Saved by the Bell not only entertained but also imparted valuable lessons about friendship, responsibility, and the challenges of adolescence. Its impact extended beyond the 90 seconds, with spin-offs and revivals, cementing its status as a classic in the annals of TV history. In summary, Saved by the Bell was a groundbreaking series that blended humor, relatable teen experiences, and life lessons, all while creating a lasting impact on popular culture. In the 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell, executive producer Peter Engel enforced a strict rule on the set, no swearing allowed. This decision aimed to maintain a family-friendly atmosphere on the show. The prohibition of foul language contributed to the series' reputation as a clean and wholesome program. Additionally, two notable cast members, Dustin Diamond and Tori Spelling, had their first on-screen kiss while working on Saved by the Bell. This moment added a touch of romance to the series and remains a memorable milestone in their careers. Furthermore, it's interesting to note that Elizabeth Berkley, who played Jesse Spano on the show, originally auditioned for the role of Kelly Kapowski. Although she didn't secure the part of Kelly, the producers were so impressed with her audition that they created the character of Jesse Spano specifically for her. This casting decision ultimately played a significant role in shaping the dynamics of the show's ensemble. In conclusion, Saved by the Bell had its share of behind-the-scenes rules and casting choices that helped define the series and its iconic characters. Peter Engel's no-swearing policy, Dustin Diamond and Tori Spelling's first on-screen kiss, and the creation of Jesse Spano for Elizabeth Berkley all contributed to the show's enduring legacy. Saved by the Bell and its surprising TV dominance in 1989, a TV show called Saved by the Bell burst onto the scene, capturing the attention of teenagers across the United States. While the show had many interesting facets, one remarkable fact stands out. At its peak, it had more teenage viewers on Saturday mornings than The Cosby Show, the number one primetime show of that era. After the show had been on television for around four weeks, research conducted by NBC showed that 50% of teenage girls in the United States were watching the show. This statistic reflects the show's incredible popularity among its target audience. Teenagers across the country were tuning in to follow the lives of Zack, Kelly, Screech, and the rest of the gang at Bayside High School. One interesting behind-the-scenes tidbit is that Mark Paul Dosselar, who portrayed Zack Morris, had to dye his hair blonde every two weeks while on the show. This commitment to maintaining Zack's iconic look highlights the attention to detail that went into the production. 
the fact that Saved by the Bell could outperform the Cosby Show in terms of teenage viewership on Saturday mornings was a testament to its cultural impact. It not only entertained but also resonated with its audience in a way that few other shows could. In conclusion, Saved by the Bell was more than just a popular TV series in 1989. It was a cultural phenomenon. With Mark Paul Dosselar's dedication to his character's appearance, and the show's ability to attract teenage viewers, it left an indelible mark on television history. Behind the scenes of Saved by the Bell, Dustin Diamond's solemn farewell Dustin Diamond's role as Screech in Saved by the Bell remains iconic in the world of 90 Seconds Television. Until the show's reboot, he held a unique distinction. He was the sole actor to appear regularly in every episode, spin-off, and movie related to the franchise. However, when the series made its return, Diamond was conspicuously absent. Instead, viewers were presented with a poignant memorial montage featuring clips of him from Saved by the Bell and its precursor, Good Morning, Miss Bliss. This marked the final tribute to the actor, who passed away on February 1, 2021, at the age of 44. Dustin Diamond's portrayal of Screech Powers left an indelible mark on the series. While the reboot may have moved forward without him, his contributions to the show's enduring legacy remain an essential part of its history. In 1989, the TV series Saved by the Bell introduced viewers to a group of high school students at Bayside High. While exploring the show's history, one interesting fact emerges about the casting of Kelly Kapowski. Before the role landed with Tiffany Thiessen, Jenny Garth was a finalist. Later, Garth would find fame on Beverly Hills, 90,210, alongside Thiessen and even shared the screen with Tori Spelling, a guest star on Saved by the Bell. This connection between the two series highlights the intertwining careers of young actors at the time. Additionally, fans of the show might be curious about A.C. Slater's first name. It's not commonly known, but A.C. stands for Albert Clifford. This piece of trivia adds a layer of depth to one of the show's iconic characters. Furthermore, after Saved by the Bell ran in syndication, some episodes incorporated re-edited footage from Good Morning, Miss Bliss's flashbacks. These segments featured Zach Morris reminiscing about his junior high school years, offering a nostalgic touch for fans of the earlier series. In conclusion, Saved by the Bell holds a few intriguing secrets from its production history, including casting choices and character name origins. These tidbits offer fans a glimpse behind the scenes of this beloved 1989 TV series. In the 1989 TV series Saved by the Bell, Mark Paul Gosselar and Dustin Diamond, who played best friends Zach Morris and Screech respectively, had no real-life friendship beyond the set. While most other cast members remained silent upon Diamond's passing, Gosselar expressed kind words on social media. This contrasted with the rest of the cast, who chose not to comment. The show initially began as Good Morning, Miss Bliss, set at John F. Kennedy Jr. High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, but was canceled after just 14 episodes. NBC then retooled the series, moving it to Bayside High School in Pacific Palisades, California, and removed several characters. Only Dennis Haskins, Mark Paul Gosselar, Dustin Diamond, and Lark Voorhees made the transition. The relocation was never explained in the show, leading to a fan theory that it's all a daydream by Zach Morris, who imagines himself as a cool kid who can do anything. This theory is supported by the show's theme song and Zach's ability to freeze time and break the fourth wall. An interesting tidbit about the series is that every classroom scene used the same set, despite the various academic subjects featured. This cost-effective decision allowed the show to maintain its unique look while sticking to a budget. Saved by the Bell remains a beloved series from the late 80 seconds, with its characters and memorable moments still fondly remembered by fans. Mark Paul Gosselar revealed on Larry King Now that Saved by the Bell gained its popularity through syndication, despite being cancelled after each of its first five seasons. This means that even though the show was originally cancelled several times, it found a new audience when it was rerun on TV, and that's when it really took off. The show's success in syndication allowed it to become a beloved classic for many viewers, even though it faced challenges during its initial run. This demonstrates how sometimes a TV series can find its true success and lasting fame after it's no longer on the air. The school set used in Saved by the Bell has also played a significant role in the world of television. 
It was not only the backdrop for this show, but has been reused for many other popular series, such as That So Raven and iCarly. This shows how a single set can have a lasting impact on the world of television production. So, despite its rocky beginnings, Saved by the Bell found its place in TV history through syndication, and its iconic school set continues to be a part of the entertainment industry. As we draw the curtains on this nostalgic journey through the corridors of Bayside High, and the unforgettable escapades of Zack, Kelly, Screech, and the gang, it's a reminder that some things truly stand the test of time. Saved by the Bell, the beloved TV series that captured the essence of high school life in the late 80 seconds and early 90 seconds, has left an indelible mark on our hearts. Whether you were a dedicated viewer, an occasional fan, or just stumbled upon it during a late night TV binge, Saved by the Bell had a knack for resonating with audiences of all ages. It was more than just a show, it was a time capsule that transported us back to the days when neon was in vogue. Perms were cool, and high school dilemmas felt as monumental as the Grand Canyon. Now, it's your turn to take a trip down memory lane and reflect on what Saved by the Bell meant to you. What were your favorite moments? Which character did you relate to most? Did Zack's scheming ways amuse you, or did you admire Kelly's grace and charm? Perhaps you found solace in Lisa's fashion prowess, or chuckled at Screech's quirky antics. Whether it was the unforgettable theme song, the wacky adventures, or the valuable life lessons woven into each episode, we'd love to hear your thoughts and cherished memories. Share your personal connection with Saved by the Bell with us and with fellow fans who continue to keep the spirit of Bayside High alive. Thank you for joining us on this trip back in time and for sharing your nostalgia-filled moments. Your enthusiasm and love for this classic series are what make these discussions truly special. Until we meet again, keep those memories close, and remember, you were indeed saved by the bell.